And if you can get over that easy, then you're ready to, to get over to press and over Poggio. If you start to struggle there, then your race is likely to be over. The hard part of Milano Sanremo is that basically you sleep until Capoberta. So you need to get there ready and, and you need to be like uh, ready for the switch. Like it's from really completely easy time to, to the bunch getting nervous, everybody wants to be in the front. And then from one moment to another, you, you can also run out of legs because imagine Capoberta is up to 260K. So you may be there and feeling good, no problem, no problem, no problem. And then boom, you find yourself on the back of the bunch or bam, you are on the front and maybe don't even feel the stress and you see around you other riders that feel more stressed than you and that's actually the, the part of Saremo that the public maybe don't see because you really need to be into the bunch to see the faces of the riders and uh, and what's happening and i remember like that was a davide bramati quote in capoberta you can understand if you win the race or if you cannot win the race because when you when you do that it's a, it's a kind of a climb uh, harder than the other two and if you can get over that easy, then you're ready to, to get over to press and over Poggio. If you start to struggle there, then your race is likely to be over. The most important part of the race in terms of positioning it is the Cipressa. Because uh, that was my case this year, I got a really bad position on the bottom. And, and then I, I waste too much energy to get back in position before the downhill, where it's one line, people go fast. And this year, for example, Ineos decided to split on the bottom. They just went full gas on the on the Aurelia when we get back on the big road, and and it split straight away. And even from over, imagine from a downhill into a flat part, we got 25, 30 riders in the front and other 50 riders chasing. So that's also the, the fatigue. The fatigue you don't feel in your legs until they don't bring you to the point that you just explode. So normally it's more stressful the, the approach to the downhill than the down itself because the moment, especially on the Cipressa. If you want to move, you take so many risks that maybe it doesn't really work. Like if you are position 50, you can move maybe to position 30. Maybe if you are really good into passing people, but also take an effort. So because everybody go down now in motorcycling, everybody can go down in a decent way, especially in these classics. And there is not, if you are not in the front, if you are in the front, you can make a really good difference. Like when you did a few years back, three years attack. But if you are in the back, then you need to go around people and the line is that one. You don't have many, many choice for lines. Like we, we do it a lot in training. We maybe sometimes try to find a new line uh, to, to pass, but there is not many options. So where you are, you normally stay. You can gain few positions, but not much. It takes a lot of mental energy because then, you know, you maybe need to break a little bit, le a little bit uh, uh, harder and later, but then you need to make your bike restart at speed. So does it really work to gain two positions, four or five positions during the down and instead of just going down easy, taking a gel, taking a gel, have a drink on the bottle? Um, it's always about what you want to do in the race and where you're positioned. Of course, if you are too, too far in the back and you're maybe thinking that you're going to split in the down and you try to gain as much position as possible, but you're already in a bad place at that point.